Uh, my name is uh, Jack Holliday. I'm a clinical professor uh, at Baylor College of Medicine in Houston, Texas. The HD analyzer is a very important instrument today, and I'd like to give you a little background on, on why it's so important. We've always needed a metric to measure quality of vision. And in the past, we've used things like visual acuity. Uh, we've used things like wavefront. And uh, visual acuity is a good measure. And wavefront, on the other hand, uh, is a measure of what we call macroscopic optics. And all that really means is things like astigmatism and uh, coma, spherical aberration. Those things do show up in wavefront. But what we've learned from a study that Pablo Artal has done uh, in developing the HD analyzer was to show that basically light scatter, that no other instrument measures as accurately or as precisely as the HD analyzer does, is a better, better overall measure of visual quality and visual performance than any other objective measure that we have. And that means wavefront. And so are auto refractors. The HD analyzer basically measures quantitative quantitatively the amount of light scatter that we get and studies for cataracts, outcomes in refractive surgery, show very clearly that there's a one-to-one -one relationship with light scatter and visual performance and visual satisfaction. Whereas with Wavefront, that's not true. And so one of the things that I do to help people understand the difference between, for example, wavefront and light scatter is to picture the device that measures wavefront, and it's the one that shows these little bitty dots in an array. All right, so we have a grid of dots. And basically what a wavefront analyzer does is it takes a picture of those dots through the optical system, and if those dots are not exactly the way they were in the original grid, they're compressed or distorted or moved in a way, well, that's what we call wavefront, and it is uh, distorted, and it is a measure of optical quality. But light scatter is something else. Between those little dots, it should be black. And if there's light scatter in the optical system from the cornea, the lens, or the vitreous, that light scatter reduces the contrast between that black background between the dots and the dots themselves. So you could actually end up with a grid that's exactly like the original where there's no wavefront distortion, but that the background, which has a haze from light scatter to the dot, which we call signal to noise ratio, but is basically the contrast between the dots and the background, that can be reduced not proportional to the wavefront. In fact, it can be reduced where the wavefront's normal or vice versa. So the problem is that the only good, really optical visual performance measure is light scatter. And the study that Pablo Artal did in the development of the HD analyzer was to show that for cataracts, when you grade the cataracts using the lock system, that there was a one-to-one -one correlation between the amount of light scatter, or what we call on the HD analyzer, the OSI index. And that index goes from one, zero to 10, zero being absolutely perfect, under one is almost perfect, and 10 being terrible. And so that simple scale from zero to 10 had a direct correlation with the visual disability from the cataract, and it, it indicated objectively what the patient's performance was uh, and visual quality without even the doctor looking at the cataract. Uh, it was exactly the same. Refractive surgery. I did a study where we did measurements the day after, uh, an hour after, the day after, and a week after. An hour after surgery, patients can see 20-20, but it's like looking through a fog. The OSI indices were up around seven or eight. By three to four hours, they were down to about three or four, and by the next day, they weren't back to the preoperative values of one or less. They were about two. 
but they were close. They were two. And so that's why patients get 95% recovery over that first day. But it took them three to six weeks before they actually got back to the baseline because the OSI index showed us exactly what was happening. And it's why when patients come in and say, gee, I have some halos at night, I can't see that well, and you measure their vision as 2020, the HD analyzer gives you a metric, a value that should correlate exactly with the patient's satisfaction in their visual performance. So the HD analyzer is the instrument, the only one available today, that can give you that objective measure of the visual performance of the eye, which will correlate with the outcomes of your refractive and cataract surgery and, and objectively measure for you what the patient is explaining to you subjectively. One aspect in practice that's very important is that um, in addition to improving quality, most doctors, even if an instrument doesn't improve their cash flow, uh, if it improves the quality of care, they're interested in that. But a number of those people who've had the prototypes and the original HD analyzers have shown that basically patients, young and old, are interested in measuring the quality of their vision for a number of reasons. The first is when you're young, you need a baseline that basically shows you what the progression is of your visual performance over time because there's no question. We hit our peak at age 19 and from there on it's downhill. Now we all don't go downhill at the same speed, but we're all going downhill after age 19 in terms of visual performance. Well, what the HD analyzer does is gives you a value and it allows you to determine your own progression of what that decrease is over the next years so you know exactly where you are. And uh, the people that have ultimately began to use that in their practice have found that it's something that you can charge for. So you take a measurement on the patient and then over time you take these repetitive measurements and as people get near cataract age, you can see what the disability is and decide when the exact right time is uh, for cataract surgery. In terms of refractive surgery, uh, you can measure exactly what their performance is before the surgery and make sure that they returned not only to the same level that they were before in terms of light scatter, but they've also had the improvement so that they no longer need spectacles or contacts or anything else. So that aspect of measuring a parameter, the OSI index, and having that as a measure or metric of what the visual performance is over your lifetime is very valuable in terms of establishing a benchmark that each individual can use throughout their life to determine what their uh, transition and change in vision is over their life.